friend setting me, 33 F, up with a horrible date. My friend mentioned her husband's good friend was single and a great guy, she wanted to set me up with him. I agreed. We all went on a double date. The first thing I noticed he looked nothing like the photo she showed me. Very tall with a big beer gut. Nine months pregnant looking. But I decided to get to know him and give things a chance. Over the course of dinner, I come to find out they know nothing about him, not even where he works. I started to get uncomfortable. How is this a good friend? Then he mentioned they had set him up three times before this. Dot and every single one of the women had ghosted him. At this point, I just felt sick and lied to. All of a sudden my friends get up and leave telling us they will give us some alone time. This is where things got weird. He was talking to me as if we were already in a relationship, saying he owed them significant other much for setting us up and glad things were working out. Now my friend keeps asking if I will date him and start up a relationship even after being direct and telling her I was not interested. She even gave him my number. Where do I go from here? I'm offended she even thought I would go for this guy and also weirded out that I'm the fourth woman. I feel so gross and used. Edit. I feel super shallow reading this back, but I don't like super tall larger dudes. I feel very uncomfortable around that physical type. Lay it out very clearly to her. She is not to ever give your phone number out without your consent. And if she asks you one more time if you're going to date that guy just walk out and break contact. They don't take your opinion seriously and think they can pressure you into doing what they want. You don't need friends like that. Ew. Not sure these people should be considered friends after this. Over the course of dinner, I come to find out they know nothing about him, not even where he works. I started to get uncomfortable. How is this a good friend? Then he mentioned they had set him up three times before this. Dot and every single one of the women had ghosted him. Now my friend keeps asking if I will date him and start up a relationship even after being direct and telling her I was not interested. She even gave him my number. I think you shouldn't be friends with this person. They're weird and assholes. They probably look down on him and that's why they hyped him up and lied about him. And they're probably making fun of both of you. It's just very fucked up. I would honestly stop talking to them. Damn did you piss her off? Um. I'm confused how they didn't even know where he works. That is really throwing me off here. Friends, giving my number to men without my explicit consent is a no-go for me. You do not owe anyone a reason about who you are interested in, basically ever. Your agency matters. You should definitely drop the friend too. This is so weird. Are they trying to use you to pay for drugs or something? Definitely ghost this dude, and your friends. Although I'd send her an email telling her fucking weird and creepy it is that they keep catfishing women to set up with a stranger. I, 28F, shut down if someone yells at me and my partner, 30M, is frustrated. During an argument or disagreement or any conversation, if someone raises their voice my brain feels like it just turns off and I really struggle to maintain any productive discussion past that point. An increase in volume seems to trigger my fight or flight response and my body auto picks flight. My partner and I have been together about three years now and we are apparently hitting that phase where there's more frequent disagreements. My partner is wonderful, but does tend to get louder, not really, yelling, but definitely raised voice, when he's upset. He doesn't get rude or unproductive, but his response makes me shut down. In turn, my response has started to really frustrate him because I really don't help solve the problem after this point in the conversation. I've told him to try not to raise his voice and he does try, but he also said I should work on not shutting down just because he gets louder. Is it unreasonable to ask him to just speak in a normal voice even when he's upset? What can I do to start getting better at not immediately shutting down when someone gets loud? You might want to talk to a therapist. Other than that get a code word for when you start feeling like this. Like yellow. As in have the traffic light system. Please do a few sessions with a couple's counselor. You have classic communications issues. This is the bread and butter of couple's counseling. Counseling will help you each listen, validate, and communicate better. It's really very helpful. I can't recommend it enough. You are being unreasonable. You acknowledge in your post that he doesn't actually yell, so what you're telling him is that he's not permitted to show any sign of being frustrated or upset in his voice. You of both of your reactions are involuntary emotional responses, but you asked him to work on it and her did. He asked you to work on it and you're not. You seem to think that he should have to refrain from showing all emotions while your emotions rule every disagreement ad you make no effort at all. Maybe you can argue over email. So you can't control your emotional responses, but you want to know if it's unreasonable to ask someone else to control theirs? 
Think about that good and hard for a second. Is it unreasonable to ask him to just speak in a normal voice even when he's upset? Yes, actually. He also said I should work on not shutting down just because he gets louder. And he's right. You've clearly experienced trauma that sets you off by your boyfriend, or anyone, raising his voice, but you're expecting that he change his behavior for you whilst you continue to stay the same. How is that fair? He should 100% work on controlling his response. It is fair for him to also ask you to work on yours. He likely will not always refrain from raising his voice, so, in your shoes, I would work on attempting more communication in general when he does. That doesn't give him a free pass to raise his voice whenever though, but sometimes people get louder when emotional. That is human nature, as is fight or flight response. You should get therapy. This happens to me too and my therapist is helping me work on ways to fix it. I feel so sorry for my dad. We were talking today and he's not an emotional person. He opened up about when he first started his new job. We're so alike in that we won't mingle till we know people. He said that he ate lunch on his own in his office space which was far away from everyone and that he didn't really want to be there at that time. Around two weeks into his new job. This was around 10 months ago and he says now he doesn't care about it at all and knows the people properly and who to avoid and who to chat to and if anyone says something he doesn't like he'll tell them. He keeps to himself more now though since COVID. It just made me so sad. I wanted to cry. My poor dad being all lonely eating his sandwich. I don't know why it just got me. I hate the thought of it. I work with older men and always always think of my dad in them and try and make an effort to keep them part of the team. He only just told me now so many months later. Yeah pleading face sometimes we forget to remember that our parents have anxieties too. If you have time, call him during his lunch. It's really nice to have someone talk to you when you're alone, even if you're not physically there. I like eating by myself especially when I don't know the people. It's not sad nor an anxiety thing, I do have anxiety but not in this scenario. It's just more comfortable. I prefer eating alone at work, co-workers can be evil backstabbers. Could you ask him to call you on his lunch so you can chat with him or just tell him hello? Can you set aside a day to meet him for lunch? You can also suggest he take walks or read a book. That may help the time pass. Ah your poor papa. Can you call or text him during his lunch hour? It makes me sad to think of him eating alone too. I'm a dad and I do not eat with co-workers and I'm never ever lonely or to be pitied. It's perfect. Found my close friend, 31F, on Bumble a month before her wedding. My work wife from my first job has been a close friend of mine for years, we still hang out at least a couple times a week. She's engaged to a guy who I really like and is getting married in May. Yesterday, a friend of mine found her on Bumble and texted me screenshots. I sent them to her asking if there is something I should know, and she replied that they must be from when she was still single and that she probably forgot to turn it off. Thing is, I recognize the pictures and they're recent. My girlfriend and I are even in one of them. I had spoken to her fiancé earlier that day about bachelor party plans and everything sounded like it's very much still on. Some of our friends have joked that she can do better she's really, really attractive and makes great money, while he's very much the blue-collar type. But he treats her like a princess, a big upgrade from the trash fuck boys she's dated in the past. I get the feeling she's having second thoughts and looking around again. I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not I should bring this up, and if I do, whether I should talk to her or him about it. She's a close friend and if things don't work out, it's her side that I'll take. But I've been in toxic relationships before and can't help but think I'd feel very guilty if he marries her next month without knowing she's not fully invested. Any advice on how I can approach this? Or should I just leave it alone? Too long did not read. Found my friend's new Bumble profile, she's getting married in a month. Do I bring it up? I know plenty of people might say stay out of it and I understand that to some degree, but all I can think is that if I were that guy the first would hope someone would tell me that information before I got married to a person like her. Some of our friends have joked that she can do better she's really, really attractive and makes great money, while he's very much the blue-collar type. These friends are really shit people and you should get rid of them. Not that this is relevant to the issue but the term, work wife, makes my skin crawl. Considering she's a very close friend and you should have a one-on-one -on -one with her. Sometimes a nudge from a friend is what we need to correct our course. I would tell him regardless of which side you would take. You are talking about someone's life here, not some drama. Imagine you were the one being cheated on by your boyfriend and not knowing it. Would you want someone to tell you or not? If you care anything about him tell him.
He deserves to be able to make an informed choice. Show him the same compassion and respect that you'd want to be shown. Thing is, I recognize the pictures and they're recent. My girlfriend and I are even in one of them. I had spoken to her fiancé earlier that day about bachelor party plans and everything sounded like it's very much still on. Did you bring this up with her?